Hey, what is going on everybody? It is me, Aditya here from GFX Comment, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to brand your Twitter profile, which will in turn bring you in more commissions and customers. So I completely did a revamp over the last week. Not only did I double my follower count with the revamp, um, I've been able to get new clients, I've been able to do more commissions. And so let me break down how a rebrand works. So a lot of the time, um, the main issue with people's Twitters is they have it really messy, so it's just a ton of unrelated content that doesn't have anything to do with what they're making or what they're selling. And so a lot of people get distracted, you know, they'll click away, they don't have any interest. But once you approach this in a way which you can um, pretty much build your Twitter profile to grab the attention of somebody, as I did here. So let me go step by step in what I did first. I did end up um, changing my Twitter handle to make it something more catchy, Empiracy Games versus underscore Empiracy. You get what I mean? It, it's just more catchy to say. It flows more smooth. Um, in my bio, I wrote the only things I care about on Twitter, the reason I'm using Twitter. I tagged GFX comment. I linked my def, def form portfolio. And I left my Discord in my Twitter bio. And what this does is, as soon as someone comes on my page, they'll see exactly what I'm about, right? If they wanna order, my Discord's gonna be here, my Discord's gonna be on my dev form. And the next thing I did was I got some new artwork done. So uh, I got the GFX comment header on my Twitter, and then I commissioned Hool for this profile picture. He's a great artist, I do recommend using him. Quality work for this. It was fairly cheap too. This guy needs to raise his prices. Um, and I made a new commission sheet. And so this commission sheet, what I pretty much did is essentially I divided it into uh, sections. And so I will be making another video on the benefits of doing this. So stay tuned for that. But that's just the commission sheet, for example. And as you see, all my tweets, everything I retweet, comment on is all related to my UI. So it's all the videos that GFX comment makes this giveaway which we held and I will be talking about this how to boost your Twitter followers like this on another video as well and I I only stick to work related to what I want people to contact me with so here's some UI practice I did just some quick pen tool practice you know just something to showcase and as you see it's very attractive it's a clean look DM to order now and right here the rest of this stuff is just all business related. So let me show you how I set up my dev form portfolio. And the dev form portfolio, I would say is arguably the best way where you could centralize your portfolio other than Twitter, just because a lot of people want to hire you from dev forms. They don't really want to, a lot of, there's a lot more people looking for developers on dev forms than on Twitter. And so what I did here is um, I pretty much made a new header all I did was just some quick work on Photoshop, added a render of myself behind some of my commission sheets. Uh, I had this, I kind of kept the same theme going on. So as you see, this is a recurring theme. I kept this cool flowy GFX comment theme on here. I've, um, I've included these following sections. So let me tell you guys exactly how to section this. I would pretty much do the same exact thing. Um, so credentials, every single person wants to know what you do how, how long you've done it, what projects you worked for, right? That's how they assess whether if you're worth the price or not worth the price. If you just say, oh, I just started or you don't talk about how long you've been doing it and you've only got small, small clients, you're gonna end up getting less, less, less commissions, right? So over here, I said, I have over three years of experience in user interface. I'm very versatile. I'm a very versatile and reliable artist. And pretty much this lets them know I'm experienced, right? I'm experienced with using all these softwares like Photoshop, Illustrator, Roblox Studio I can import. Uh, and I stayed up, I'm very versatile and I'm reliable. And so I always tell you guys, you wanna be reliable when it comes to it. So on my commission sheet, I say fast delivery, one day delivery for 15 frames, right? If someone orders this, I will get those 15 frames to them in that one day just cause that's, that's part of the prestige of paying more, you get more for that, right? So over here, what I've done next is I've sectioned off my previous work. And I didn't really do this the most efficient way. A lot of people um, much rather would just post um, 
the PNGs of their work, which is completely fine. I just decided to link the games I've worked on. I kind of took the lazy way out because I didn't have the Photoshop files for every single UI that I made. And so over here on the commissions, I included every game I've worked for in the past. So these, um, I've worked for a lot more games, but these are the few games that do have millions of visits. So like something like this, you know, 32 million visits. I did the UIs on this game. If a customer sees that, right, they're going to be much more impressed. Roblox Uno, this is my first thumbnail I ever made, right, on a game with 108 million visits and the guy still uses it. And all these other games, it's 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 stuff like that, right? But what's more interesting is I've included my own games here. So what this lets these customers know is I have experience in development as well. I know how how to make a UI attractive, how to make people buy more from the UI. Okay, and over here I've also um, included some former clients I've worked with. So I included Kodai. Uh, I included I included some other other clients I've worked with. Part Arcs, Sir Trolling R31. Randy Moss, and these are all, all um, higher-end clients of mine. These are all people with some sort of status on Roblox. So seeing stating these popular Robloxians on your uh, past works, the, these are going to give you more um, more trust. It's gonna it's gonna build more trust between you and the client. So it's similar to like any e-commerce, right? Any e-commerce in general, you want to have some sort of so, some sort of like reputation some sort of prestige you uphold. And um, in addition to this, I also plug in our own graphics store. I say all the all my other work can be found on the graphics store. So on this shop, right, on our shop, it's gonna be in the description below for anyone who would like to purchase any of these assets. They do come with the PSD, very easy to import, very fast as well, right? Some of these I made and I pretty much just told them, you know, if, if you're interested, just look over here. In turn, what this did, if maybe they didn't want to wait or they just didn't have enough money to commission me, I redirected them towards another another way, an alternative for them. And you want to always be considerate towards your customers. So even though I'm not making as much money as if he just bought a random asset off the store, right, that still would give him satisfaction. And since these are all high quality UIs, maybe next time when he, the person or the client actually has money, he will commission you for a custom order. Next is payment, 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 payment. And so this is a very, very, very important subject because a lot of the time people cannot put their payment, how they want to process their payments, right? Have you ever ended up in the predicament where you've made a, a really hard commission for someone and they just ghost you? They don't pay, they don't take it, or they just scam you. They take it and they leave, right? And you're left with nothing. That must be the worst feeling as an artist and it really makes a lot of people want to quit because that's just a waste of time for both parties. Not even both parties, just for you, right? You're just taking L, you're giving away your skill for free. That's why I require a 30% deposit before the commission is even started, right? As I state here, this is a security deposit to ensure commitment. So a lot of the time people will come to you, they'll be like, hey, I need a UI. and if you want to make sure they are serious and not just wasting your time, ask for a deposit. I ask for 30, 30% because that's how much I feel like is a fair amount where if I got a few frames done and the guy just ghosted me, I'd be, I'd be satisfied. I wouldn't be satisfied, but I'd be happy with 30% rather than nothing. You get what I mean? So I always, I always recommend you guys have some sort of deposit and please remember if you do have less less um credentials if you if you're not as popular yet please do not ask for something crazy like a 70 percent deposit no one's gonna do that no one wants to risk it as well so i put it at 30 percent where it's not too much but you know i still won't take a complete loss next time availability so i put my schedule on here and what this does is this lets people know when you can work and when they should contact you. So I put Monday, I'm, a, I'm free the whole entire day. So a lot of the clients, they'll come to me on Monday. Monday morning, they'll be like, hey, I want this commission done. Hey, and if they choose a first class day, that's same day delivery pretty much. You get what I mean? So they, they have a better idea of where and when to contact you. And next is contact information. So I always recommend putting just Discord and Twitter on here. That's all you really need. So you really don't even need Twitter. I only included the Twitter there just to even boost my rep reputation even more. And so now what you've got is a fully built, 
portfolio. And so what this does is this allows people to review. So let's see on my portfolio what reviews I've gotten and how I respond to them. So first you'll get probably a few, you know, random people they will compliment you, you know, you always want to keep everything business oriented. So if someone says, you know, nice games, thank you. If you're interested in working with me, contact me on discord. You always want to bring back customers. You always want to say things to attract people, right? I pretty much what I did to get my reputation up on this portfolio. I'd suggest you guys do this as well is contact the people, the big developers you've worked for in the past, right? And ask them to write a review for you. Every time you finish a commission, always ask for a review. So as you see over here, I've got reviews from multiple developers. So all the developers I stated here, I, I asked them, Hey, could you please give me a, um, could you please give me a review for the work I did for you? And since they were all happy with my service, they all left a positive review. So as you see, I've seen the details evolution since a very, see the reviews like this, they give in-depth information. So newer people, newer people who don't, who don't know you yet, right? They're going to see comments like this and they're going to, they're going to be more assured. Okay. Maybe this guy's really good. Maybe I want to hire him. Right. And so a lot of people is, um, like even you guys shout out Reaper Blizz. He's a UI designer and he's a fan of the channel. Shout out to Reaper Blizz, man. Thank you for watching. Um, and I constantly uh, try and post my previous work on here. So I haven't been making as many examples just because I've been busy. But now in this upcoming weeks, I will be pump pumping out a, lo a load more tutorials and I will be posting for you guys. Every single commission, even practice, every single asset you make, I want you guys to post it even, even if you think it's bad. Just because, look, right, the only way you can really tell if something's like really bad you can't really judge yourself if you post it you get you know the worst that'll happen is you'll get positive criticism you know you'll get you'll get tips on how to improve right if you make something bad and you just decide to save it you know you'll never get any improvement so even here i can point out tons of mistakes i made you know all these lines they're not perfectly connected the shadows are a bit off Th this banner could use a lot more work with the shading the wood is not good you know, it's it's stuff like that. It's it's tiny things like that that I even see. I see myself, but at, I didn't notice that until after I posted it. And now I know, right, whenever I do another wood style UI, I can improve on that. I, I have something I can improve on. And that's what you, what you really want to do. Every time if you're improving on how you work, you're going to get more people to come to you and hire you, right? So other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I will be releasing two more videos about how to gain more followers on Twitter as a UI designer and how to price your entire commission sheet. Even though I made a logo video, I will teach you guys how to price everything now just because it's been so much, so many requests, so many questions. I always get questioned, how do I price this? How much should I price this? How much should I price this? And it's not only for logos, people with UIs, GFX, everyone's struggling. No one knows what their artwork is worth. So I'll, I'm going to help you guys pretty much in the next few videos and show you guys how to price everything. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to join the Discord server in the description below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.